Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well I don't know about you, but I think Love Island presenter Laura Whitmore's pay is so ridiculously high that you would have probably thought it was a BBC show. In fact, she must be laughing all the way at the bank. Let's begin. Okay, as many of you will know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule, so the best way to see my videos, as soon as I put them online, is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, now this story is from The Sun, and it says, Love Island host Laura Whitmore has appeared for just 12 minutes this series, 12 minutes, and that's an eye-wart on £50,000 per minute, despite being paid £600,000 to present the show. And as I said, 12 minutes, it takes me longer to go... Forward to the toilet anyway. That's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? But do you know what? I have come up with a master plan. And I think it's one which would benefit us all. Well, okay, me actually. But I can actually buy a blonde wig and stuff some socks down my top. And I'll do it for half the price, which is saving them hundreds of thousands of pounds, which they could then spend on decent programmes. Anyway, some 950 minutes of footage has been broadcast from the villa, so far across 14 episodes, and fans are, obviously understandably, wondering why there has been so little shown of Laura. Well, do you know what, I feel sorry for anyone who has wasted so much time, I mean, watched that much. Anyway, the Irish presenter, who is 36, not bad for 36, has been on screen for just 11 minutes and 51 seconds, or just 1.3% of the action, if you can call it that. Four contestants have already departed the villa in dumpings, which are all golden opportunities for Laura to make an appearance. However, the exit process has instead been conducted by other islanders reading out texts. And I actually think I should probably try a similar thing when I'm a shift at work and send in a cardboard cutout. And to be honest with you, it'd probably just be productive as me at least. No, seriously though, I'm sure she's probably doing other things, but how can they justify paying her £600,000 for around 12 minutes of screen time? And in fact, from what I remember, the cast of Friends, I think, got around $1 million, which is roughly £723,000 per episode. I didn't ask Alexa that, honest. Anyway, and I doubt Laura isn't nearly half as famous as what they are, is she? 